it sweet is. Yep, yep, just come down to the beach at about uh, nine. Oh, actually, can you make it 10? Because um, I'm going out tonight. Here, I've got a bit of a, a mate's going away, do. What's that? Where's he going? I don't know, he's just going away, so uh, we're pretty happy about it. Yeah, he's a bit of a prick. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, so how many, actually, how many people in your party? Yep, oh, okay. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't take such big groups at the moment. Um, can you just, yeah, maybe do a couple, we could do a couple of trips, but uh, yeah, haven't got, quite got the facilities to, yep. Oh no, you'll get a, you'll get a chance, but it's just, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, a couple, couple of people's good. Yep, and then we can do, yeah, just to think others can weed on the, Oh, actually, um, oh, another thing, uh, can you, um, you got any life jackets? Because I've got, no, I I've got one, but, um, it's just, it's, it's just actually a normal jacket, but I've written life on it, so it's not really, <laughs> it's actually, um, it's actually quite a heavy jacket, it's more likely to weigh you down, <laughs> to be honest with you, but, uh, yeah, so, no, we don't go out far enough to really need them, but, yep, yeah, so, okay, yeah, cool, okay, thank you, thank you, oh, and one more thing, if you've got, you don't have a boat, do you? <laughs> no, no, you cost. I'm, I'm joking. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Oh, sorry. You're yeah, just um, organising a bit of business there. It's okay. Look, Ron, tell us a bit about what you you do here. Um. Well, I'm a whale watcher. You know, I'm from Kaikoura, and it meant sense to me to sort of um, it'll get into the business of whale watching because that's what we do around here. And uh, I've done a few things in my life. Um. But yeah, it just sort of made sense for me to sort of sort of cash in on the sort of the, the tourism thing there, and uh, yeah, so I, I, I um, you know I take the boat out and give people uh, a sense of what, uh, what what it must be like if you were to see a whale at, at some point, you know. Has the business been a success so far? Yeah, yeah, I think. I mean, last year was our most productive year uh, on account of having a boat. Um, but this year, uh, unfortunately, the owner of the boat found out where we were hiding it, <laughs> so uh, he, he took it back. But we've you know we've since got another one uh, but um, yeah I mean you know I've, I've been you get a few complaints you know people people sort of saying they haven't they haven't seen a whale in it but as I say you know you've, I'm still taking people out there and they're getting a bit of a sense of what it must be like you know out on the out on the sea and I think that you know, a lot of people get a kick out of that do you? It's interesting you raise the complaints because we've heard of a few complaints come in from from people saying they've they've come here and haven't seen any whales yeah, well, that's, you know, it's like I said to them, it's nature. You know, I can't guarantee you're going to see a whale. You know, if a whale's going to come out, he's going to come out. You can't coax them out. You know, you can't, you can't put bread out. They don't even eat bread. You know, I've, I've tried that. They eat what's called plankton, which is really tiny. You can't even, it's hardly, you can't even pick it up or, or buy it in the shops. So you sort of, you, you, your options are you can, you can do a whale call, which is kind of like, um, No, nothing today or or you can you can just sort of try your luck at different times you know and um, I've even tried sort of swishing the water about sometimes they like it they can they can get a sense that there's a, someone out there a bit of movement but um you know I mean you know I, people complain but as I say you know it's, it's nature mate it's nature you know they're, they're wild animals have you ever seen a whale Oh, you know, I mean, of course. I mean, who hasn't seen, you know, what what they look like, and and you know, uh, in books and what have you, TV, film. It's everyone's really familiar with, with what a whale's like. What do they look like, Ron? Huge, huge whales are huge. I mean, out here, the the ones we've got out here, uh, I imagine would be massive. Um, and when they come to the surface, it's what a sight to behold. Imagine a giant, like a giant fish, you know, like twice the size of a fish. What sort of qualifi so what sort of qualifications do you have? Um, I mean, it uh, I mean, I've I left school at an at an early age, but I um I picked up a lot of life skills easily because I used to work um at a fish and chip shop, and I so I meet a lot with public, and you sort of learn while while the fish is, is cooking, you talk with people about what they do and where they've been. A lot of people have been overseas, and I've taken on quite a lot of wisdom from from guys who have you know done the OE. And it's something I want to do in the future. But um, as far as just normal um, qualifications for this sort of thing, it's, all it is is you need um, a boat, um, a bit of uh, some binoculars, which you've got, and 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 just the just the dream, you know, just the dream that it's that it's all going to come together. And I mean, I won I won a, an award last year, an entrepreneur, because I set this up. I set this whole thing up, including the um, the, the the competition to win the award and. 
you know, that was one of the, my greatest moments really was not only setting up the competition, but taking out the award. And, you know, I'm, I'm proud. I'm a proud, proud young guy, a proud young business entrepreneur. So it's all fine and well, but you look at the facts, you, you've got this business, but I haven't met one Ooh, person. Excuse me. Oh, don't worry about this. Excuse me. Ron Taylor's well watching in gift shop. Yep. Yeah. No, hang on. Hang on, mate. Listen, listen. Yeah, no, listen. Yeah, I'm speaking now. I understand your point, but like I said to you at the start, it's nature, mate. It's nature. You know, you can't guarantee they're going to come out. Yes, oh, yes, they are out there. There are whales out there. Excuse me. They are whales out there, mate. That, yes, because that place is called the ocean, mate. That's where they are. Yep. Yep. No, that's cool. You go through those channels, mate. You go through those channels. I'm not even on the books, mate, so you'd be wasting your time. Then no one's ever heard of me. No, I've done it. It's a private enterprise, mate. No, it'll do you more, more, more harm than good, mate. No, that's cool, mate. You go through those channels. All right, mate. Thank you. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm still listening. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye, Dad. <sighs> Sorry. Is everything all right there? Yeah, no, you just, you know, some people don't don't believe in you and, and, it, and it hurts, you know. You tell people what you want to do with your life and and the first thing they want to do is, is not believe in. They poo-poo you. You know, and I've been, I've been working on this for a couple of years now and, you know, I just have... My closest people around me that just say, oh, get a job. I mean, what the, this is what I'm doing. This is a job. This is a life, you know. I'm out at sea. I've got binoculars I borrowed from Dad. And I just think, you know, it's all about, oh, get a job. When are you going to bring the binoculars back? And, and I just, you know, what, what about my choices, you know? And this is a choice that I have made. And I've made a lot of, well, some, I've made myself happy, you know, and, and all oh, the complainers, it's almost not worth doing sometimes, but you've got to kind of keep your head up and just believe that one day, you know, you're going to see a whale. Do you think you'll ever give up whale watching, Ron? Oh, no. No, this is my life now. No, I love it. I love it. I love being out there, getting a sense of what it must be like. And, and, I, and, and, when, and a lot of people say, oh, you know, were you involved in that issue with the... With the, with the whale strandings. And yes, I was, I was. I saw the 37 whales that were stranded and um, you know, I made a lot of money that day off people that were on my boat looking at them. And um, oh, I had to go to court because I didn't help get them back in, into the sea. But like I said, you know, I'm a whale watcher. You know, not a whale helper. That's another guy, that's another group, you know. Those guys haven't got a job. You know, they're out there, oh, what do you do? Oh, I smoke weed and I help whales. Well, you know, at least I've actually got an enterprise where I, we, we look at them. You know? Well, excuse me. Another phone call. Sorry. <coughs> Ron's well. Uh, yep. What? No. No, hang on. No, I think you've got. No, you've got me confused. No, you're looking for Weight Watchers. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. No, it's happened before. No, I'm, I'm Whale Watchers. Yeah. You're actually looking to lose weight, and I, and I actually spend a lot of time looking at things that weigh a lot. <laughs> so that would be, well, in theory. Um, Actually, can you swim? Hello? Uh, yeah. You get a lot of phone calls. Well, when you give your number out, you know, you, and I'm starting to regret it now, but uh, you, it's all part of being a, in, a, in a business and a successful business. Didn't look too, too busy out here today. It's, it's an off day today. You can actually see them from the beach if you, uh, if you really focus. I can't see anything. Oh, there's one. No. You've got to be quick, too. As they come up, they don't need to come up, you see. When they come up, they, they're just sort of coming up to see if they can see you looking at them. Another one. You've just gone. They're out there. No customers today. I'll probably leave it for today. Let's bring the boat in.